the instructions are showing a different van. <gasps> oh no. And I don't know, maybe, maybe they can send me some different ones. Otherwise this isn't gonna work. He did say it sounds like that's the wrong bracket. We're gonna make it work, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not at all. Well, hopefully you don't do it too big and everything doesn't fit. I use, I use the size they told me to. All right, so I screwed up the inside, so now I'm gonna to try to screw up the outside. Today, guys, we are gonna do the most important upgrade to our van. I've been waiting a really long time to do this. Took like eight weeks for these parts to get here today, but we are gonna install a box, a utility box on the back of the van and a spare tire. As you know, these ProMaster uh, Class B vans do not come with spare tires. So this is an opportunity for us to upgrade and get that important spare tire because you know, when you drive 5,500 miles across the country and you don't have a spare tire, it's a huge risk. So we're gonna solve that problem today. This is the kit that comes with the ProMaster and it just simply is this little air pump. This. this little air pump. And if you have a flat tire or you break a bead or you have some major issue, this is gonna be absolutely worthless. We're going from this ugh, to this. <laughs> and this is why this is the most important upgrade. Full size spare, ready to go. But with this upgrade, I also got a few other things like this box. And this is gonna solve our storage problem that I didn't know Absolutely. we had. Did we have a storage problem? Um, it, that doesn't matter, but now we don't have one. All right, time to unbox this stuff. Uh -huh. have all the parts to assemble, more parts, and this is the rack for, I believe, this is actually the rack for the box. We can unwrap this without scratching anything. How in the world? All right, how about this? That's better. Can we go through all these parts. Oh, wow. Look at this. Nice brand new tools. I'm, I'm impressed. Step for the ladder. The piece that holds the spare tire on. I actually have no idea. These are the brackets that hold the spare tire on. And then this is the... <laughs> Thank you. And then this is the piece that actually holds the spare tire onto the rack itself. Well, let's try that same trick again with this one. There you go. Now, in case I haven't said anything, this is Illuminous and they have done a fantastic job packaging all of this so it doesn't get damaged or scratched during shipping. So hats off to them, they did a really nice job. Just wonderful quality. I mean, I'm in the construction business and these are just nice welds, all cleaned up, nice powder coated. Looks really, really sharp. All right, let's check these hinges here and make sure we got everything. All right. Does it look all here? Looks like it's all here now. Nothing left to do but the work. All right, we've got two sets of instructions. One is for the box and this slightly bigger one is for the ladder. The tire goes on the side of the ladder and then of course the box goes on the other side. It's the next day. Yesterday I ran out of time, so today we're gonna go ahead and finish getting the ladder rack and box installed on the back of the van. So, time to get the party started. Well, I need to read the instructions, make sure I get this thing on right, so be just a second. 
All right, I need to find the right parts. Step one is we need to put these brackets on the van. And basically what we do is we take the door off and then bolt these in their place. Five hours later. Just a second. I'm having some issues and Bradley's holding it. Do I have a different style hinge? What in the world? It doesn't fit. Because this hinge goes down here. Let me put that back in. So this bracket didn't fit, and I don't know if I have the wrong bracket or if it's on the wrong side or what, but it's supposed to fit in there like this. I don't know if you can see. Like, like underneath there, but it doesn't. Unless, see, it doesn't go over. I don't know. I'm going to try this bottom one. Are you sure you got the one for the Ram Promaster? Yeah, because the instructions, the instructions are showing a different van. <gasps> oh no. These. It's not oh no, I just think it's a, I think it's a sprinter. So do you think they sent you sprinter van pieces? No. It's like this, this right here, this is not what I have. But this piece does not fit over that, unless I'm doing something wrong. So this bracket is supposed to go right there and fit like oh, there's glass there like that but it doesn't but because this little pop out right here and that's at a different angle this does not fit so what do we have to do i guess i need to call luminous and find out what's going on with these brackets and i don't know maybe maybe they can send me some different ones otherwise this isn't going to work to be continued the, they're at a different angle than the bracket the bracket yeah. and the door don't mean. No, the bracket that is in the instructions is the same as the bracket I received. Yep. So it's not like a wrong part number. Wow, they were super helpful. I, I have to say that was some great customer service. They looked at my order, asked me a bunch of questions. They said, no problem, we'll get you out a new order. They just need a couple of pictures and then they'll have me send that one back. So, Perfect. Um, so I, they think they did send us the wrong one, maybe? He did say it sounds like that's the wrong bracket. Perfect. So maybe they, they picked the wrong one when they were filling the order or you know, I don't know. But and is that the only wrong one? That's the key. What about the other side? Well, that's what I'm going to check right now. Okay. That's what I'm going to check right Just now. Just make sure we get all the wrong ones. Okay. Yep. yep. Perfect. Several days later. Well, guys, it's been a while and I have to tell you, I made a mistake. So I, the parts they sent me were correct. I got a hold of Sergio from Illuminous and he told me that I was putting the brackets on the wrong way. So they needed to go over the hinge, not under. Um, I can kind of show you exactly what that means. So that's a rookie mistake on my part. Hopefully you guys can learn from that and don't make the same one, but let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're gonna put the upper bracket on and I'm gonna need Hillary's help. So this fits over this. Over, we were trying to do under. So, so do you even have to take the door off? I have to, no, I don't take the door off. I, I take these bolts out and then I set this on top of it. What do I do, Bob? So you have to hold this door like, like just put your hand here and you feel it coming your way. Push, push like the top forward. There you go. Oh, oh, who said I had enough muscles for this? You did. Oh, this is heavier than you promised. No, it's not heavy. It is heavy. The weight of the door is actually on the hinge, on the bottom hinge. Okay, it was that was much easier this time. 
So that's the way the bracket's supposed to sit. Oh, who would have known? The instructions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can see on this side, it goes over the hinges and then just uses the same bolts. All right, that was easy. Now what? Now we get to do the bottom. Okay. How was it? That time, it's much easier. All right, so the brackets, correct. Looks good, looks good. The real test is shutting the door and it actually being square still. So, nice, same edge. So you can see the edge all the way around. Still looks good. Okay, you okay. you're happy? And it shuts with that seam looking nice and straight. I think I need to take this one off because I'm afraid it's gonna interact with this bracket right here. Oh, uh, well. So I have to take this one off. And what's go, oh, uh, oh, the box is gonna go there. Yes. Oh, that's fine. So this is the Thule bike rack bracket that came with the van. So there's a bracket up here to bracket down here. I always left them on because I thought, Maybe we'll use them someday, but guess not. So let me grab some tools and see if we can figure out how to get that off. Wow, that was incredibly easy. We're gonna do the upper and lower brackets first, then we'll move to the more difficult like center brackets. And then once that's done, we'll go ahead and start mounting everything else up on the side. All right, so the bottom one went on much, much quicker and easier. So now I just need to check this top piece, make sure we got it aligned properly. So if you look right here, you can see, let me see if I can get it in there, but you can see the, the edge where the painting was when they originally installed the door. And these bolts are kind of back up against this edge here. Because, yeah, I, I do feel like that's just, the bottom still looks fine. That top makes me a little nervous. And let me check this side. See, that side's perfect. I'll try to get this one on a little bit better. I'm not sure what's going on. See this? Okay. That needs to match up. Is it matched? I don't know what we're talking about. No. So it's not see matched. that color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this piece needs to match that color. Okay, Use the top one first. Okay, let me be set and ready. And I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> Down. Down. Okay. It's not matched. Is it close? It's close. Go. Like that? Yeah. You wanna look at it and make sure? Cause I don't know. It looks close to me, but I don't know. Yes, that's perfect. I did it! You did. So, here. Then we'll just... Make sure my job was good enough. I know, you're... Yeah, actually... Did I do it good? You did. High five! Oh, let's shut this one. Yeah, that's I feel better. better. You see that? that uh -huh. That's closer. Yep. That's better. Yep. Awesome. Now on to the more difficult stuff. What? That was hard. Well, easy to install. Well, this one's more difficult because of the latch. And then you have to cut this weather stripping and do some other things. But 
We'll do this side first to make wait, it easier. Wait, we have to cut weather stripping? So just like this back piece, we trim this. I'll show you. It's fine. Don't worry. So this one just goes just like that. Okay. Okay. Now what? On, on to the more challenging one. <laughs> this one, I'm actually going to keep the instructions close by. We have to take off this handle, basically pull the weather stripping back, put the bracket on, handle back on, and then trim the weather stripping. Hopefully I don't screw it up. How in the world? No way. That's like glued down. There's no way I am going to take that off. It's all glued on. It looks really nice up there, watertight. So I'm just going to leave it on and then I will just trim it manually with like a razor blade or something. I remember why I need this now. I have to take these bolts off, which is the lock. So otherwise, if I don't hold it, it'll fall down inside here. And then I got to take this whole panel off. So that's right. And I remember now. All right, that looks perfect. Nothing is hitting, everything looks great. That was my biggest concern is that you might get a little contact right here, but nothing, looks perfect. So, I did notice that we, this is where we can attach the, I don't know, strap so that the door doesn't swing all the way open and then basically smash into the side of the van because Otherwise, you'd have the door, or the, actually the tire hitting the side of the van. So we have to put that strap on to ensure that doesn't happen. Oh. So we will do that, and then we'll do the ladder. Bam, bam, both are done. So after a little cussing and swearing, uh, you know, a little scrambling, we figured it out, got them all installed and everything's looking good. So now we finished with everything that basically requires the doors to be open. Now we'll close them and we'll start putting the ladder and boxes on. So the fun stuff. The fun stuff. This is the work that you just got to do to get it in. But now mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the rest. Help me. I've been out here for so long. It's cold. This is taking way longer than I anticipated. You can't rush greatness. So everything's loose, obviously still jiggles a little bit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten everything up. Wow, that is solid, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's very, very solid. Be the first to climb my ladder. Okay, hopefully it doesn't fall. Oh, I felt scared. Good. Should I have put this on first? What? Because that sits like that to hold the tire. Oh. It would have been easier. I mean, I can still do it with it on, but note to self, we'll do that for the other side. Rookie mistake number. Like seven or eight. <laughs> this on super tight so that we can make some adjustments if we need to but so it would have been easier to do that first yeah but that's all right i mean you live and learn right 
I like to make mistakes so that other people don't have to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need your help. You're going to need my help? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh god, those are not really tight. <gasps> oh no. Voila. When we put the ladder on, it would have been much easier if we would have put all the stuff, you know, the the st the ladder pieces and the brackets on the bottom, if we put that on the ground. So we're gonna give that a try this time. But first, <laughs> I wanna make sure I understand how this box gets mounted. Yeah. Turning over a new leaf. <laughs> so, okay, that's what we got. Oh, I have to drill? Do I do this? Do I, do I drill through the? No, they would have had a hole there if you needed a draw. They would have done that for you. Are you sure you have to drill through anything? Because I just think they would have already had holes made for you. I, I would agree with you. That's what I thought, but that's what it says right there. I'll tell you what, let me mount these first and then we can stand this up and see. Is there any holes at the bottom of, on the bottom? Because they're saying, that's first, two of the holes should be drilled through the bottom of the box and through the support stands. Second, the other two holes should be drilled through the back of the box and rear door per product tubing. So that makes sense. Like you, you put these on, right? And you get it all squared up mm. and you and you drill through the box and, and through yeah. this. We drill here, 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 here. But mm. I think it makes more sense to mount it on that first and then kind of position the box. Thoughts? I don't know, Bob. Let's do that. I'm worried. Are you worried? I'm not worried. I'm just trying to decide if I should mount that and then put the box up to see how it looks. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so first question that I got answered was, I was gonna mount that like that. So that, 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 that does work. But I think you need it. To follow that edge. No, oh. you don't need it like, you don't need it covering this bar. I mean, I, I'm just wondering. That, you could go this way. I'm just wondering, what does everybody else do? Let's go look at the picture on the Luminous website. That's the best one that I've found of it. Okay. Oh, right here. See? Uh, look at it, and it's over this, like I said. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm glad we look, and then look. Oh, yeah. So that, that's actually right where it needs to go. I'm gonna really screw it up because I'm gonna go through this and then through the box. Well, hopefully you don't do it too big and everything doesn't fit. I used, I <laughs> used the size they told me to. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? <laughs> no. He said, put your bolt through. So that it holds it in place while we do the next one. Hey, wish me luck. Hope that was okay. <laughs> All right. What if you did it on the wrong side? <laughs> you can just what if it's upside down? I would kill you. 
It's not. Why are you getting red? Because I'm anxious. All right, so I screwed up the inside, so now I'm going to try to screw up the outside. You did not screw I mean, up the inside. The yeah. <laughs> no, I got the we got the back done, so now we're just going to do these legs in the front here, and then we should be good. Hopefully, maybe. Yeah, that those was turned out just fine. I do what I'm doing. <laughs> As you like barely can get up. Let's check. You can still have easy access to the handle. Okay. It will stop itself. So that's nice if you look it doesn't hit the van oh let's look you can see on this side it doesn't hit the van good it closes nice and sturdy this door feels heavy but you've got a giant tiger on it so i would expect that but she's yeah. done not yet what we oh forgot to put the steps on <gasps> Oh, dang it. This is a never ending project. Would you be so kind? Nope. <laughs> There's the red handle that's right there. What? This? This? No. The other, the other. This? Yeah. All right, guys, we are done. That was, I think it looks amazing. I'm really happy with everything. A little more difficult to install than I expected, but all in all, soup looks super nice. It's fairly straightforward to do. Uh, you got to read and reread the instructions, but all in all, I think <laughs> there, it looks great. There was some Bob mistakes. Yes, I made a mistake. You guys can hopefully learn from my mistakes. And hopefully when you guys do this, it'll turn out perfect and i forgot we did have to go out and buy a steel oh. pro master tire because this does not come with a spare tire so we purchased a brand new one and then i went and found literally the cheapest tire that i could find on planet earth we put it on here looks good looks good good job bob i'm proud of you i'm proud of me too as long as it doesn't fall off on the road uh I, yeah I, I cannot make any promises <laughs> but i will make one promise if it does fall off we will record it <laughs> when we wake, hear the birds and see us. This is the job that never ends. You want to know something really embarrassing? At work, at work the other day, I said to somebody, Hi, Bob. And their name wasn't Bob. I don't know what, I don't know what I was thinking. It's just like, <laughs> said hi to myself, but it wasn't. I don't know. Oh, gee, how many Christmas. It was just one of those days. Never ends. Okay. <laughs> He's just waiting for cars, waiting okay. for cars. Story of our life. And action. Go. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights